A family excitedly adopts a retired police dog named Coda. However, their joy takes an unexpected turn when, upon closer inspection by the vet, an unsettling revelation comes to light. Bertha and her family had long dreamed of having a dog. When the opportune moment arrived, they visited various animal shelters in search of the perfect canine companion. Eventually, they came across Coda, an old police dog with a mysterious past. Despite the lack of information about his history, Bertha believed he was the right fit for their home. Once settled, Coda seemed like the ideal addition to the family. However, as time passed, the family began to notice peculiar behavior from the canine. Initially dismissed as harmless scratching, their concern deepened when Coda started squealing during their attempts to assist him. Perplexed, Bertha decided to take him to the vet, unaware of the secrets that awaited discovery. During the vet visit, Bertha detailed Coda's symptoms, and a brief initial checkup showed a healthy heart and fur. The vet, however, remained puzzled by Coda's odd behavior. Focusing on the dog's ears, the source of the concern, the vet attempted a closer examination. Despite Coda's resistance, the vet managed to inspect the ears, finding nothing to explain the unusual behavior. Frustrated, the vet decided to scan Coda's chip for additional information. To their surprise, as the chip was scanned, an unexpected buzzing sound filled the room. Bertha questioned the vet about the noise, but the answer remained elusive. As both Bertha and the vet sought to locate the origin of the mysterious sound, the unexpected journey of uncovering Coda's secrets took an intriguing turn. The intensity of the sound grew, causing Bertha to groan in frustration. It began to hurt her ears, and she desperately searched for the source. Then, a realization struck her, perhaps the sound had been there all along, but she couldn't hear it until now. Bertha approached Coda and listened closely, discovering that the noise emanated from his neck. Excitedly, she informed the vet, who quickly examined Coda and identified the issue. It's his chip, the vet explained, fumbling with his hands. As the sound continued to escalate, Bertha covered her ears to alleviate the pain. Can you stop it, she yelled, unintentionally louder than intended. After some trial and error, the vet successfully turned off the sound by accessing the chip's files. Relieved, Bertha walked toward Coda, who instantly regained his cheerful demeanor, barking and panting happily. Grateful, Bertha started to express her thanks to the vet but abruptly stopped when she noticed his pale and stone-cold facial expression. Concerns flooded her mind, wondering if there was something wrong with Coda or if she had done something amiss. The vet, seemingly unmoved, tried to assure her, don't worry, it's probably just a mistake. However, Bertha remained unconvinced. What happened? What do you mean by mistake, she demanded to know. The vet, attempting to sound confident, assured her that Coda was healthy, and he would register the incident as an error. Frustrated, Bertha insisted on knowing the truth, raising her voice. The vet sighed and reluctantly disclosed something shocking, um, your dog died ten years ago. Bertha was stunned, and before she could react, the vet added, I know she is alive and well right here, so it must be a mistake. The revelation left them staring at each other in silence, and Bertha, struggling to comprehend the situation, finally asked, have you ever encountered something like this before? She desperately hoped that this was just a bizarre occurrence, something that happens sometimes. However, when the vet shook his head, her optimism faded. Great, she said sarcastically, but then a thought crossed her mind. This wasn't an ordinary dog, it was a former police dog. This can't be a mistake or accident. They don't do that at the police, Bertha remarked. The vet looked confused, prompting her to explain Coda's background as a former police dog. The revelation triggered a sudden change in the vet's behavior. Concerns grew, and he bombarded her with questions. Bertha, still trying to make sense of the situation, was thunderstruck by the vet's barrage of inquiries. 
Why is he registered as dead? How did you get this dog? Where did it come from? He questioned, both unaware that they were on the brink of discovering the truth. Stammering, Bertha admitted she didn't have much information about Coda, and all she knew was that he was a former police dog. The vet, dissatisfied with her answers, turned to his laptop, searching through files. Frustrated, Bertha approached, recognizing that the files might hold the key to resolving the mystery. As the vet clicked on a file, the screen initially turned black, only to be replaced by an eruption of numbers scrolling rapidly. Panic set in as Bertha shouted, what is going on? The vet fumbled with the keyboard, attempting to stop the influx of numbers, but it ceased as abruptly as it began. Relieved, Bertha and the vet took deep breaths. Examining the now static numbers, Bertha recognized them immediately. What are these doing on the chip? Those are wire transfers, aren't they? She exclaimed, inadvertently thinking aloud. Still in amazement, she covered her mouth with her hand. The vet began to respond, but he fell silent halfway through his answer, leaving them both in suspense about the shocking revelations unfolding before them. Bertha stared at the vet in confusion, wondering why he had suddenly stopped talking. When she followed his gaze, she realized he was fixated on the laptop screen, reminiscent of his earlier behavior with the device. As her eyes widened, the vet opened a file containing information about the dog's past. Bertha couldn't fathom how no one had noticed this before. Why did nobody notice this before, she exclaimed, and the vet just shrugged in response. Intrigued by the revelation, Bertha entered the previous owner's name into a search engine, hoping for more answers. To her surprise, she found a news article stating that the previous owner had died. Disappointed with the lack of information, Bertha's attention was drawn back to the vet's reactions as he made surprised gasps and sounds. Returning beside him, she peered at the laptop, expressing her disbelief. Is this real? she asked. They exchanged looks, both struggling to comprehend the incredible information unfolding before them. Suddenly, Bertha declared, we have to go to the police. They continued to scrutinize the file, realizing it was filled with dubious information suggesting the previous owner's involvement in criminal activities like fraud. Convinced of the gravity of the situation, Bertha persuaded the vet to accompany her to the police station, taking the laptop with them. After reaching the station, they approached the desk where two officers initially appeared confused by their story. However, upon seeing the contents of the laptop, the officers acted swiftly. Moments later, Bertha and the vet found themselves in an interrogation room, Bertha's hands clammy as she clenched them. Desperate for answers, she questioned the officers about what was happening. Their demeanor became distant and hostile. One of them demanded to know how they obtained the information. Bertha, struggling to comprehend the situation, uttered, this info belongs to a cold case. As she turned her head, looking at everyone's faces, tears rolled down her face, and her vision became blurry in the face of an unfolding mystery. The information remained elusive for a decade, the officer remarked before a realization struck him. Bertha, visibly emotional, wiped away her tears. It dawned on her that Coda had passed away a decade ago, and the relevant details had been lost for the same period. As they made the connection, Bertha recounted her story, now incorporating the intricacies of her dog's involvement. When she concluded, she observed a momentary hesitation in the officer's expression. He seemed on the verge of saying something, but instead, he turned away and closed the door. The passage of time felt extended as the officer disappeared behind the closed door. Upon his return, he unexpectedly apologized and unraveled an astonishing narrative. Coda's previous owner, an undercover cop, had orchestrated the dog's fake death a decade ago to sever any ties leading back to the police. The smooth operation persisted until the owner's untimely demise, leaving the case cold until now. Officer Burton's day took an unforeseen turn when Bertha and the vet entered the station, 
presenting new evidence for a decade-old case. Expressing gratitude, Burton assured them he would take charge. As he delved into the documents, one lead stood out, a risky gamble, but the only option they had. The undercover cop had documented the criminal's routine poker night, and Burton hoped they still adhered to this tradition. Gathering a specialized unit, Officer Burton briefed them and equipped a stakeout van with listening devices. With laptop in hand, he wore a slight smile, confident in the detailed information that could aid in capturing the criminals. They staked out the location detailed in the file, turning days into weeks of vigilant investigation. The listening equipment initially captured the ambience of people enjoying dinner in what seemed to be a restaurant. Burton suspected it to be a front, surmising that the real criminal activity was concealed in the back. However, nothing appeared suspicious until a man caught his attention on one of the cameras, recognized immediately as one of the criminals involved in the case. As the man entered through the back door, Burton swiftly redirected the listening equipment. The transition revealed a change from dining sounds to people talking and the distinctive sound of chips moving. Burton's hunch proved right, they were still engaged in a poker night. Energized and relieved, Burton anxiously awaited a connection to the evidence gathered by the undercover cop. Their patience paid off when they heard the use of company names mentioned in the file, indicating potential fraud. Without hesitation, Burton shouted, we got them, and ordered his team to enter the premises. Equipped and ready, they prepared to raid the gang's hideout. Bursting in with a battering ram, they swiftly advanced toward the poker room, urging caution and vigilance. Expecting resistance, Burton was surprised when the gang immediately surrendered, holding up their hands without hesitation. Looking around with a satisfied smile, Burton declared, let's get them to the station, believing the job was done. However, upon arrival, he sensed an unusual lack of worry from the apprehended criminals. Moments later, a colleague informed Burton that the evidence was at best circumstantial. Shocked, he barked, how could this be? Realizing he had acted hastily and needed to rectify the situation, Burton acknowledged his mistake. The arrest had been premature, and the link between the conversation and the evidence was not as strong as initially thought. The recorded files from a decade ago weren't entirely solid, leaving Officer Burton pacing around the room with his hands running through his hair. In a moment of realization, he mumbled, confession. This sparked an idea in his mind, the only way forward was to get the criminals to confess. Drawing inspiration from the poker night, Burton decided to bluff the gang into admitting their crimes. Addressing the gang leader, he proposed, we've got 10 years of intel on your crimes. If you cooperate, we can maybe arrange a lesser sentence. However, the initial attempt didn't seem to work. Undeterred, Burton decided to go all in. Pacing around the interrogation room, he contemplated how to make the leader believe they possessed damning evidence. We sent an agent undercover ten years ago, he suddenly revealed. The leader smirked, dismissing the information as the agent's death was known. However, Burton countered with a brilliant response, that's what we wanted you to think, weaving in details from the files. Observing the leader's wavering reaction, Burton saw an opportunity. I can offer you a deal if you confess, he proposed. Moments later, a signed confession was in his hands, and he smiled. After the trial concluded and the gang was behind bars, Officer Burton visited the vet to express gratitude and return his laptop. Following this, he went to a pet shop, purchasing dog treats for the next visit. In a heartwarming moment, Burton thanked both Bertha and Coda for their invaluable assistance in solving the case. Let's continue. Dogs are the most loyal friends of humans. They can bring full love to their owners when humans are sad and sad. At the same time, as a member of the family, their identity is also extremely important. If they lose a dog, they lose their laughter and the right to be accompanied. They can also make their owners feel very bad and even have trouble sleeping needing. 
Mary and Brent are a couple who have a cute puppy, with snow white fur and a furry tail, they are very cute, but because of this, both husband and wife dote on the dog, and even for their behavior, the dog is really spoiled. On a bleak autumn afternoon, the dog played alone in the backyard of the house, but as soon as it left, it never came back. The couple suspected that the dog had lost itself, so they were very anxious and immediately went out to find the dog. Unfortunately, after three days and three nights of searching, there was no news, and they fell into extreme sadness. Since the dog left the house, the house has become very empty, leaving an indescribable void for the couple. Anyone who has experienced it knows how painful it feels to lose a pet, but they have not given up. They still work hard every day to distribute leaflets and seek help from local residents and the police. As the search continues, they gradually become very tired and even begin to lose hope of finding the dog. However, as more and more people participated in the search, a man said that the dog had been seen in a place. They immediately became ecstatic and drove ahead to the destination. Finally, the effort did not disappoint the person who intended. The couple were lucky to see the dog that had been separated from them for a long time. Unexpectedly, after such a long time, the dog recognized its owner at a glance, wagging its tail excitedly, and ran towards the couple. The eyes were filled with joy. When the owner saw the excited reaction of the dog, he immediately ran over and hugged his beloved dog, constantly stroking his furry head with his hands. Tears had already crossed their cheeks and fell on the dog, which seemed to feel the owner's mood, he kept shouting, as if comforting his master. The reunion scene was very touching. Such a satisfactory result is also the best consolation. There is also a story that can better reflect the dog's deep love and yearning for its owner. A young man raised a cute puppy and took good care of it. It took a long time for the dog and people to stay close to each other. Unfortunately, the puppy that had accompanied him suddenly disappeared. Only six years ago, he finally reunited with his missing dog. This was one of the most exciting moments of his life. One afternoon, the young man was driving to work when he suddenly saw a dog in the distance. The dog looked very similar to the one he had lost. He looked in and saw that it was indeed his own dog, but there was another young man standing beside it. It seemed that the dog had a new owner. He immediately stopped and called for the dog's name. Unexpectedly, the dog immediately responded. The man was ecstatic. After such a long time, the dog even recognized his voice and couldn't help but get excited. The dog excitedly wagged its tail at the man, his eyes filled with uncontrollable joy, but his new owner pulled at him, holding the leash in his hand, slightly controlling the dog's emotions. The man stood up and explained in detail the cause and effect of the dog's loss. After learning everything, the new owner was unwilling to let the dog leave him. He begged his former owner not to take the dog away. After so many days, he has long regarded this cute dog as his family, and without its companionship, he would definitely become very lonely. After negotiation, they decided to take turns taking care of the dog, so that they could not only get the companionship of the dog, but also not let any of them become lonely and helpless due to the loss of their pets. Dogs occupy an undeniable position in human life. From the moment they are born, they have steadfastly defended their owners and assumed the mission of protecting them. The love of dogs is always loyal, so people must take good care of dogs and never fail to live up to their sincere hearts. That's all for this episode of video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to reviews. We will continue to bring you more moving stories about animals. See you next time.